Wow, I haven't like popped off in a while on my channel. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Ray here. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as you guys know from the title of this video, uh, I'm going to be testing out the lowest rated art supplies on Amazon that I could find. And I cannot guarantee that I won't be getting heated throughout this video. The thing that just like really grinds my gears is when a company will resell a dollar store brand for like six, seven, eight, ten times the price. And don't get me wrong, I know the company has like... <coughs> As I was saying, <laughs> the company has every single right to do that, but it's like, girl. And before we just like jump right into it, I don't want anybody to think that supplies has to be really expensive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link down a whole entire bunch of videos that I've made that just focus on cheap art supplies. Cause I got you, boo. <laughs> anyway, let's just get this show on the road. Oh hey, welcome to the ugly side of my room. See, people are always asking me like, Ray, why don't you do a room tour? You know, your room looks so pretty. But like what you see in the intro is literally the only side of the room that is decorated. Once you look at this other side, you're like, dear God, no. <laughs> Okay, so while I was looking at stuff to buy on Amazon, I noticed that like you can only look at five star and above, three star and above, one star and above. You can't exclusively look for just one star, but you better believe that I searched Amazon for literally about two hours trying to find the lowest rated stuff and your girl came through. <laughs> so uh, the very first thing that I decided that we're gonna need is obviously paper. Now, one of the two papers that I chose to get today is the Reeves watercolor paper pad and it has a three-star rating okay but all the reviews seem to look like this now just in case we can't rely on the watercolor paper uh, we need to get a backup so I found this royal brush three-star rating drawing paper now the reason I'm totally getting this is because not only is it three stars but it's only three dollars and ninety three cents for 40 sheets so yeah I'm gonna get it. And apparently it's also not returnable, so that seems like a deal. Now next up, I found what I believe to be an absolute treasure amongst watercolor supplies. And that is the FLP LLC Creative Options Watercolor Paint Set. And this thing has a one star rating. To be fair, it only has two reviews, but this is the actual picture from one of the reviews. <laughs> This looks worth six dollars. All right, so we only have two more to go, and this wouldn't be a super Ray Dizzle video unless we got some really bad colored pencils. It's just tradition, okay? So I found these Leisure Arts 72 pack colored pencils, 2.5 star rating for eleven dollars. And these pencils, like, I feel like they don't know what they are. You know, usually whenever you get colored pencils, they're either super heavily pigmented, rich colors, or they're light pigmented with like light colors. But these pencils. Pencils, they seem to be both. So I have very high expectations for these colored pencils, especially if they're $11 plus shipping. And again, I just love the reviews. This is the only picture that came with it. By the way, those are literally broken pieces. So uh, yeah, with that being said, I will see you guys uh, in a few days. All right, so it's been about a week now and finally all of the supplies finally came in. Instead of just like dumping it all on you at once, uh, we're gonna go buy the supplies as I use them. Actually, let me clean up a little bit now that it's 2018, I'm trying to be like less ratchet, know what I'm saying? So yeah, do you guys remember that drawing paper that I ordered? Well, uh, this is it. It's like so incredibly tiny and I have like tiny little hands. I guess like most people, including me, didn't realize it was five by seven and it was gonna be that tiny. And then I was just casually flipping through the paper, you know, just, you know how I do. And this is 100% true. Like I literally accidentally yanked out a piece of paper. Uh, I was gonna like flip it, but it's so easy to rip off this paper, which means it's really, really crappy. Like if you know anything about drawing paper. Uh, so this is off to a great start. And this is me just kind of complaining, but I hate whenever the paper is so flimsy, the cover, and like it won't ever stay flat again, so it's always gonna be like pushed up. I don't know, it just drives me crazy. But anyway, uh, moving on. Okay, now usually I like to be dramatic, but this is literally how these pencils came out of the box. Just 
like this. Dude, these pencils, they're straight up busted. Like, what happened to these? Like, who hurt you? But wait, there's a plot twist. Looky, looky here. I am just at Walmart, just by chance, and I see that these are a little bit cheaper. I knew I've seen them before. And these come with 80. Mine were only 72. So, I don't know what's up with that. And then, for icing on the cake, uh, I was checking out the box, and when I turned it around, it literally says, <laughs> it literally says, keep away from children and pets. Like, I just want to know, like, what am I about to work with right now that would require that label? But I mean, hey, it's whatever, right? We're just gonna roll with it. So, uh, today I'm gonna be uh, attempting to draw some kiwis. Or at least, try to. <laughs> And I feel like already from the start, you guys already know what it is. And that's that these pencils just don't have that great of color payoff. For two seconds, let's compare the Faber-Castell, which is, you know, top tier, versus these pencils. And the only reason I'm using Faber-Castell is just because they're like top of the line, you know, like super bougie, you know. Uh, so yeah, do you see like how dark that green is compared to the lightness? Well, you don't really get that with the other ones. Like, eh. It's just, I'm pressing really hard, and it's just like, eh. There's not really that much of a difference. So anyway, about maybe like 20, 30 minutes later, I go to start erasing, you know, some of it, and then like the weirdest thing happened. So basically, what I was doing is I was erasing this, and all the crud, like the paper is like literally dissolving onto the paper, or onto the pencil. How weird is that? I've never seen paper, like, straight up dissolve. I don't even know if dissolve would be the word, but, like, it, like, somehow encrusted onto my eraser pencil, and it's just, like, it's just gnarly. So, at this point, your girl is just not having it. So I just decided to finish it up, and I drew the exact same thing with Prismacolor, so we can do, like, a side-by-side -side comparison. Drum roll, please. It's crazy what good paper and good pencils can do. And then lastly, we're gonna work on watercolor. Excuse me, ahem, <clears throat> water space color. Uh, yeah, they didn't even get watercolor right. It's, they put a space in between, so that's a huge red flag. And supposedly, it's a uh, 90 pound paper, which means it's supposed to be super thick. But there's no way in hell that that's 90 pound paper, because I actually have watercolor, like legit watercolor with no space, uh, that is 90 pound paper. Like, do you see how easy it is to bend? Like, this is straight up printer paper that's disguised as watercolor paper. It's straight up closer to sketchbook paper, so I don't know how the watercolor is gonna hold up. Speaking of which... I'm honestly, like, really upset that the seller is selling this for $6 plus shipping. This is the kind of stuff you find at Dollar Tree, okay? <laughs> In fact, all I had to do was just Google it and I could find a private labeled one of the exact same thing, just private labeled at Dollar Tree. So it's just kind of like, really boo? Really? <laughs> but anyway. Now when I was painting this bad boy, uh, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, it's not like six dollars worthy, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like bad for one dollar. And guys, 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 check this out. It's like putty. <laughs> like, tell me that doesn't straight up look like mustard. Waste of money. And I forgot to mention that I am not using the brush that it came with. Because I mean, come on. Now I'm pretty much almost done with this painting, you know, I just have a little bit more to go. But uh, we are not out of the woods yet, people. I'll have you know, it completely destroyed my brush. And just to show you guys an example, it also dries with like a weird white cast on it. Like, what is that? Ugh, okay, so here's the actual painting. I'm happy with it, I'm just not happy with the actual product. It was $6, I'm still salty about that. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> but again, just read the reviews, make sure it's good, get other people's opinions, and of course, always check Walmart. <laughs> anyway guys, this whole video is brought to you by my patrons. 
If you guys want to subscribe to the extra stuff that I put out there, one dollar completely unlocks everything. Anyway guys, you know the drill. If you want to check out behind the scenes stuff, you guys can check out my Snapchat and Twitter. And for like all my art stuff that I do, like drawings and stuff, you guys can check out my Instagram here. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!